everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the different dental hygienist college degrees. In the US, there is currently an associate's degree in dental hygiene, a bachelor's degree in dental hygiene, and a master's degree in dental hygiene. There is no PhD as of now in the US, however, you can be a dental hygienist with a PhD in something else. So your associates or bachelors and or masters would be in dental hygiene and you would pursue a PhD in a different subject, say in the health sciences or something like that. Technically, you can get a PhD in whatever you want, like if you're switching careers and you want to get a PhD in physics or something. But but you would still have your dental hygiene degree too, right? So if you got that PhD in physics, you would be a dental hygienist who is also a physicist. I hope that makes sense. Let's first talk about the dental hygiene associates degree. After core prerequisite science courses are completed, which can take about one to two years, the exact courses you need vary from school to school or program to program. So always check with the admissions of your intended school prior to applying to the program. But yes, to get an associates degree, you would need to take those prereqs, then you would need to to apply and then attend the two-year dental hygiene program, usually at a community college. Then you will need to pass written and clinical boards and graduate from the dental hygiene program for your dental hygiene license to work. Total schooling time for the associates would be between three and four years. This is including both the prerequisites and the program itself. Now let's talk about the dental hygiene bachelor's degree. This is similar to the associate's degree, but the slight difference is that this one will include more foundational coursework requirements to fulfill the four-year university degree. After completing the majority of the courses, you know, gen eds and stuff, you will then proceed to your lecture and clinical dental hygiene studies. A bachelor's degree, like I said, is from a university and it will take four years. Just like an associate's degree, you will still need to apply to get into the dental hygiene program. And of course, every school and program will slightly differ on their exact requirements, so it's always important to check with the admissions of your intended school. Also, with a bachelor's degree to obtain your dental hygiene license, you will still need to pass the same written and clinical boards as the associate's degree students. So both associate's degree programs and bachelor's degree programs include similar dental hygiene coursework. And like I said, they will both sit in for the same board exams. Admissions to both degree programs, whether it's the associate's or the bachelor's, are both highly competitive. So obtaining good grades is super important. The associate's degree will usually be awarded at a junior or community college setting more affordable, while the bachelor's degrees are completed at universities, usually more expensive. Once you are working as a dental hygienist, there is generally no pay difference if you are working chair side, clinically, in the op, cleaning teeth as a traditional dental hygienist. But there are reasons you would want to choose between an associate's and a bachelor's that are not salary related. I actually have a video, which I will link in the bottom bar below, that goes into detail about this if you want to learn more, which brings me to the dental hygiene master's degree. Hygienists who want to pursue careers in education, public health, or research may choose to return to college to complete a master's degree in dental hygiene. In order to teach at the college level, most dental hygiene programs require their instructors to have or be working toward a higher degree. Master's degrees can frequently be completed online. Additionally, states such as Minnesota are now bridging into dental therapist programs, which is a master's degree mid-level practitioner below a dentist. Dental therapists can perform a wider range of services than a dental hygienist, but fewer than a dentist. Now, one last thing, let's talk about online courses in general. Most dental hygiene programs that offer online degrees are for already licensed dental hygienists, either for a licensed dental hygienist who holds a two-year associate's degree and wants to pursue a four-year bachelor's degree, or like we kind of just said in the master's, for bachelor's degree holders who want to pursue a master's degree. The American Dental Hygienist Association does have a list of credentialed universities across the U.S that offer online degree completions for hygienists. And I'll link that page in the bottom bar below. So online degrees in dental hygiene are only for those who are already dental hygienists and want to further their degree. Because due to the hands-on nature of clinical courses and patient care recommendations, online programs to become a dental hygienist in the first place are just not an option. One more thing, you sometimes can choose to complete your prerequisite courses online, you know, the prereqs before you start your dental hygiene program. So that's one more 
more kind of online option is to do your prereqs. Dental hygiene school, your initial time has to be in person. And then if you want a degree completion, that could be online as well. But that middle bulk part where you're actually becoming a hygienist, you gotta be there in person. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. I have another video that's kind of similar to this. I talked about kind of the different routes and options. I did it a way that's a little bit not traditional. I got my bachelor's first in biology, not dental hygiene related, and then I applied to an associate's degree after. So I did six years of school. I got the bachelor's first in a non-dental hygiene realm, and then I went and got my associates in dental hygiene. So there's different ways to go about this. There's not a one size fits all. So I have another video I'll link below that kind of told you my story if you want. And I also have a career checklist on my website, teethalkgirl.com, if you want to start setting up your timeline of becoming an RDH. And until next time, peace, love, and teeth.